maxillary sinus express is performed here under local anesthesia. This patient has severe COPD and requires portable oxygen. Here we are injecting the lateral wall of the right side of the sinus. The patient has a mild to moderate maxillary sinusitis on CAT scan. He cannot undergo general anesthesia and therefore this is an ideal candidate for this procedure. A neuropathy is placed into the middle meatus after it's injected. Now going to the left uh, lateral wall, the uncinate process is seen. The express is bent at to 135 degrees at the one centimeter mark. It is then palpated like you would with uh, a ostium seeker until you find the natural opening. The balloon is then uh, slid over to the malleable tip and inflated. It is then deflated, removed, and inspected. Viewing in with an angled scope, we can see a nice maxillary uh, middle meatal antrostomy. Uh, thick mucus is evacuated from the sinus with the post-operative culture showing MRSA. Uh, the right side is shown here. We're infracturing the middle turbinate after he's been injected. The malleable tip has been bent to about 135 degrees at the one centimeter mark. So we have like a J hook. This is then used as an ostium seeker, like you would normally do during endoscopic sinus surgery. Once you uh, palpate or feel the opening, the balloon is slid over to the malleable tip and then inflated. So here we see the two centimeter mark. The balloon's being in, uh, slid to the malleable tip. then it'll be inflated. This is inflated to about 10 atmospheres of pressure. It's then deflated, removed, and inspected. We see also here an adequate opening with thick mucus coming out of the sinus. Using a flexible scope at the time of the procedure, we're able to see that the, there is an adequate opening into the maxillary sinus. This is now postoperatively one month with a 2.2 millimeter fiber optic pediatric scope, which is passed into the right maxillary ostium. Viewing now on the left side, we can see the left maxillary ostium is patent. 